Hi guys and welcome to this video where we will talk about helium and ways of improving your helium mining efficiency by using software but for all of those among you who don't know what helium is there will be a very quick introduction at the beginning of this video if you don't feel like watching that then just skip by using the timestamps furthermore you'll find minor pre-order pages you'll find antennas and the software that is being used in the description so feel free to use those links you'll charge exactly the same You're, you'll get even some discounts in some links but the most important thing is that you will support this channel which would be great also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content to see more in the future and subscribe with the notification bell to never miss out on any new development so as promised let's start out with a quick introduction to helium it's basically as you can see a people powered networks um and the idea behind it is as you can see right now we are at 150,000 hotspots almost so that number tripled in like a month or something like that and companies like lime or salesforce you name it they are using the internet of things the long fi not wi-fi signals to power their devices so not all the devices that are out there on the streets or being used in mobile can actually access wi-fi or mobile data because that is too expensive and so what you do by setting up a helium miner is you provide value to the network you enable the network to move uh, to communicate and work more efficiently and you you um the incentive to doing so is by getting tokens for this and as you can see the tokens are currently at 23 dollars a pop now provided the tokens stay like this if you have a good position and a strong miner um you get the you get your a lot of bank for your buck if you invest in a miner those are returns that like this is not financial advice in my own opinion of course but many bank products insurance products of course can't keep up with something like that provided the value of the token stays like this of course now depending on when you watch this video this of course is um, subject to change now let's get into, into the software it's called hotspot rf and basically as you can see it simulates the data output that you have um this is a very simplified version of how to explain that because as you can see um, you have interactive geodata so of course um, the height difference between multiple hotspots is pretty important so that is something that is being considered um, you get an estimate reward so you can simulate uh, the position height of your miner as I said earlier and that way you can uh, simulate that and this is for me the most important things um, I mean if you want you can of course um, go and check it out by yourself um, here is a little screenshot of uh, some hotspot being set up I think outside of uh, San Diego and as you can see it like uh, connects to almost the whole world and uh, this is how the thing looks like in action and when we go into the um, actual software this is what it looks like so let's say um, we are here in Dortmund, Germany, and let's say, for example, we don't know um, if we want to invest in a in a helium miner or not. So we will simply fire up Hotspot RF, and then let's say that we are in the lucky position of living here or having friends across the city in different apartments, and we want to know what would be the most beneficial place for us to uh, actually um, deploy our helium miner. Now what you could do instead of just uh, going to multiple friends and then running it for a while and spending $10 every time uh, the device needs to get um, connected to the blockchain, you can simply use the simulation software. And the best thing is upon signing up the first time, at the moment you get 10 free simulation credits. And as you can see, I already used two um, and I'll use the number three in this video very video so let's maybe extend this a little bit more so you can see better um the factory issue antenna that you'll get will be 2.8 dbi usually um that was in uh, with my antenna the case um cable loss zero that's also the longer your cable is the more uh, dbi loss you will have so you have to keep that in mind 
height will be, um, let's just say you're in the fortunate, no, let's just say for the simulation sake, let's just say you're on ground level. I don't know, maybe you're in an elevated position, you put it on a, on a desk or something like that, and that way you get like uh, two meters. Um, placement is indoors, it's urban. And then all you have to do is simulate location and then depending on your connection that you have at home or also the strength of your PC, this might take a while because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of data that has to be simulated and uh, that the software needs to run. Also, um, just getting to this spot can take really a long, long, long time. So just be aware of that. And as you can see, we have our simulation and we can see that uh, if we use a 2.8 antenna in this area um, with definitely not, in a definitely unideal scenario, we won't cover a lot. So what we will do now, let's say we want to buy a stronger antenna, like for example, this one with a DBI of eight and we have the possibility to place it a little higher, let's say 20 meters in the sixth floor, and instead of indoors, it's outdoors. We can run the simulation again, and once more, I will let this run in real time so we can see um, how different of an outcome this will be. I haven't done this before, so I also can tell how this outcome will be, but I think that you can gauge from looking at what I'm doing, how much of a difference um, a simulation can make and how much more of an output you will get by simply, um, yeah, putting a little bit more thought into your um, setup. So as you can see, it's a, it's a difference like night and day um, what you could get by elevating your position, being outdoors instead of indoors, and also getting a investing like, in this case, 65 euros into an antenna, um, which is like, I don't know how many dollars, but um, depending on the yield, of course, that would in some cases definitely make a lot of sense. Um, a few things that should be mentioned with these uh, signals and DBIs and antennas is that it's a little bit of a science and you have to nerd yourself into it, which uh, I did, but there's still a lot that I need to learn to optimize my miners. Um, but basically there's a, this, this thing called um, the DBI, which doesn't have to mean that more DBI is automatically better. So for example, um, in this case, as you can see, 8 DBI will um, just narrow down the signal that is being put out so in this case, um, this is a more effective scenario because you're outside of the city than if you are inside the city. So as you can see, um, this antenna will reach further, but the, it won't reach, uh, won't be that broad. However, if I would be in the bloody center, then an antenna of two dBi would be a good case. Furthermore, something that you need to know is that uh, there is also a thing called... Um, you also have the lo loss of uh, the DBI, which in this case is, is, as you can see, glass is not that bad. However, if you have concrete that's like three centimeters thick or stone, um, you see there is a lot of DB that uh, doesn't come through. So you have to keep that in mind. In some cases, um, for example, uh, it's it's it will be smart to know what kind of uh, materials your walls are made of so that you can place your miner into the um, best possible position. Another thing I want you to know is because I'm being as transparent as possible with everything and I just want you guys to know about also the issues that for example we have at Helium is that um, if you are tech savvy enough, it is possible to fake the location of your miner which is called spoofing and you don't see that so often happening in Europe. Um, I, to be honest, I can now I can't have don't have an explanation why that is the case. However, as you can see in China, unfortunately, that's happening quite often, and all of these uh, shapes that are aligned in the perfect way to uh, enable these farmers um, miners to get the maximum amount of rewards are spoofed. So these people are basically stealing from. And they're not providing any value to the network. That's something you have to know. So these people are basically stealing 
um, from the network, which is a problem that developers are the, the developers are aware of, and uh, that will be addressed addressed sooner or later. Um, furthermore, one more thing: uh, if you have uh, one thing that I really like about the Helium community is that they are very welcoming and open. Even if your question sometimes is really newbie, so um, there is a Discord server where you have to verify yourself, and then there's also sub uh, Discord servers for your country and your language. Um, or, for example, you can also join the subreddit. As you can see, these are like uh, the if we sort this by the newest um, threats, you'll see that we can scroll down so much, and this is just like eight hours ago, so the subreddit for Helium is very, very active and they have some hilarious memes in there, so I highly suggest that you take a look. And as I said earlier, if you are looking to pre-order miners, check the links in the description. You don't pay any more and you help out this channel, I get a share of the revenue. Um, and something that you have to know is that currently, pardon, um, Helium is like 3 million uh, miners behind, uh, so 3 million pre-orders are put in, so um, you get the best price if you order directly at the um, producer, manufacturer. However, there is a little issue with <laughs> having to wait, and it could, like literally, the waiting time could be months right now, so be aware of that. However, if you are looking to, to buy, if you don't want to wait that long, then you have to pay a premium, um, but also you have to be aware of who you are buying from so that those are private sales across, over eBay or something like that. So be aware of that. And um, for uh, antennas, you can check out RAK Wireless. You'll also find that in the description. And also, if you want to run this on Hot RF, check the link in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And you would see more of the this kind of content. And furthermore, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hit that notification bell to never miss out on a new video. Thank you so much, so much for your attention and see you soon. Bye bye.